you want to make your project stand out with a little bit of added texture, then you definitely have to incorporate this decorative knot called the berry knot. here and welcome to Motion at Macme and in this tutorial I will be going over a berry knot or square knot button. These are cute little pom-pom like buttons that you can incorporate into almost any Macme design as a decorative knot. Personally this is one of my favorite knots because I love incorporating textures into my Macme designs. If you're looking to break up some flat knots with some textured ones, then the berry knot is a good one for that. This knot is super stylish, so I like incorporating into various handbag designs and also wall hangings. One thing to note about this knot is that it uses up a lot of cord when making it because we do make several square knots and then fold it over to form that little button that sticks out. You do have to consider this when incorporating this knot into your designs to measure out longer cord lengths. If you guys are just starting out with macrame, we do have some beginner friendly resources available on bochina.com. We have some beginner friendly blogs on how to get started with macrame and we also have a free downloadable 50 knots and sentence ebook. And with all of that said, let's get right into it. To demonstrate this knot, I've attached two strands of cord at 200 centimeters long onto a dowel with lark's head knots. Because we will be making several square knots with the berry knot, the outer cords I have here are longer than the inner two cords. We're going to use the outer left and right cords as the working cords and we're going to make a square knot. So we're going to start off with a half knot first and then we're going to tighten, leaving about an inch and a half of space between the lark's head knots on the dowel and the half knot here. Then finish off with an opposite half knot to finish our first square knot. Now repeat underneath for two more consecutive square knots. Now you can make a berry knot with just two consecutive square knots instead of three. I sometimes use two square knots when I want a more flat looking berry knot or when I just don't want to use up that much cord from my berry knots. So instead of making the full three square knots, I'd stop at two and then continue on with the rest of the knot. Once we're done all three square knots, take the middle two anchor cords. We're going to weave it in the middle above the very first square knot we made. Hence why we had left some room up at the top. Pull the two anchor cords down at the back and then using the same outer working cords, make one more square knot to tighten up the berry knot. You will then see a little berry that sticks out. Make sure once you're done to pull on the anchor cords to tighten the knot and to make sure that there aren't no scrunched up cords underneath. And we are now complete with our three square knot berry knot, which is also called the square knot button. And that's a wrap with our berry knot tutorial. Hopefully you guys are enjoying our knots and knot pattern series. If you guys are enjoying it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what other knots and knot patterns you want to see more of. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.